Hi friends, welcome to Airdrop Sport. So in today's video, we are going to be doing Zeta Chain Testnet. But before we get started, here is what you are going to do. We are visiting chain list and we are going to be adding a Zeta Chain Testnet to our MetaMask. So I'm going to be putting the link to chain list and every other link that I use in this video. I will have all of them pinned in the comment section for your convenience. So here we are and we are going to be adding Zeta Chain at 3 testnet to our MetaMask. So tap on add to MetaMask. So next we are going to be visiting Zeta Chain website itself and we want to go there and claim our testnet token. So to access the features of Zeta Chain website, you need to connect your Twitter account and also connect your wallet. Ensure that your Twitter account is not less than one month old and then you have minimum of 10 followers on your Twitter before you can be able to connect it to Zeta Chain. Zeta Chain has a ranking system and this is one reason why we know that Testnet is going to be incentivized later on. So when you are done, you know, connecting your own Twitter and your metamask wallet you can also copy your own link and share it with others so that whenever anybody sign up through your link you are going to get 5000 xp through their invite so you are going to tap on the sidebar menu by the right and then you are going to tap on get zeta and here you are going to tap on request access So our testnet funds have been successfully deposited and next we want to go ahead and create a multi-signature wallet on Zeta Chain. So to do that, open up your browser. Then we are going to be visiting save.zetachain.com slash welcome. You can find the link easily in the comment section. You don't have to be typing in word for word like myself. So here we are, the first thing you are going to do is you are going to tap on create account. Scroll to the bottom and tap on create account. But first you are going to connect your wallet, so tap on connect wallet. Choose MetaMask. Tap on Next and tap on Connect. Now you are going to keep scrolling and then you are going to tap on Next. Tap on Next. So you can decide to add new owner or you can just decide to go ahead and then tap on next again. So I'll tap on next. Tap on confirm. So the transaction is currently being processed and the Zeta Chain Safe account has been successfully created. Now tap on Start using Zeta Chain Safe. We are not just going to create the multi signature account, we are also going to interact with it. So tap on Start using Zeta Chain Safe. When you are done reading the welcome message, then get rid of it by tapping on Got It. Now you are going to copy your wallet address, so tap on that copy icon right here, copy your, your multi-signature wallet address, then you are going to open your MetaMask and then we are going to be sending some uh, Zeta Chain Testnet to our multi-signature wallet. So you are going to tap on send.
and then you are going to paste the wallet address that you just copied from your multi-signature wallet but remove the excess characters that are not wallet address they remove everything and leave only the wallet address then indicate the amount of zeta chain testnet that you want to send to the multi-signature wallet i'll be sending three then tap on next confirm your transaction Okay, so the funds have been successfully sent and now I'm going to go back to the multi-signature wallet. I'll refresh my browser. It is now showing that I have one asset, so I'm going to tap on view asset. And then you can see that it is the testnet zeta chain that we sent to it, the three zeta that has arrived. So go to the cyber menu by the left, then tap on new transaction. Tap on send tokens and then we are going to also be sending token, some tokens back to MetaMask. So here you are going to paste your wallet address. So let me go back to my MetaMask and then copy the wallet address. So we're going to paste the wallet address here, scroll to the bottom and then indicate the amount of zeta that you want to send back to MetaMask. So I'll be sending 1.5 zeta. Then tap on execute. So if you look at the MetaMask logo, you will see that we now have a new pop-up. So you are going to tap on it and then confirm the transaction in your MetaMask. You know we are sending funds from the multi-signature wallet, but then you are going to be confirming it from your MetaMask. Safe wallets are often used to store large sums of funds, and that is because of their enhanced security. So the funds have arrived in my MetaMask and the transaction has been completed. I'll go back to the multi-signature wallet. The transaction has been confirmed and completed here as well. And then you can see that my balance have reduced. I now have 1.5 Zeta instead. So next, we are going to be minting an early builder NFT on Zeta chain as well. So I'll paste the link in my search bar. And you also have the link in the comment section of this video for your convenience. So scroll to the bottom of the screen. First, you need to connect your wallet, so tap on switch to Zeta Chain Testnet. Now you can tap on any of the four options here. The bigger the option you choose, the more the fee you are going to pay. So choose any of the four depending on your Zeta chain balance. So the transaction has been completed as well. Next, I'm going to be opening up my browser again and I'll paste the link to Zeta chain Zilli. In the browser so also join the azili and complete the task that you can complete some tasks must have expired by now actually but do the ones you can
Next, I'm going to be opening up my browser again and then we are going to be visiting Zeta Chain Guild. We are going to join the guild as well. Here you are going to connect your wallet first and then you are going to see the list of roles that are available and then the roles that you have access to, the ones you don't have access to. You need to fulfill the requirements to have access to the ones that you may not have access to now. So if you have questions regarding the guide roles, you can just drop me a comment later under this video or in my telegram group. So next we are going to Zeta Jane Girls. However, a lot of the girls' um, activities have expired, but they still have ongoing ones and do the ones that are available now. Tap on that drop down to see the list of all of the campaigns that they, that they have. So this one right here, Zeta Chain Assimilated 101, let me tap on it. So it contains a quiz, although I have done it, before you can pass it, you need to pass the quiz. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll post the answers to all of the quiz in my Telegram channel. So you can join if you need the answers so that you can use it for your own as well. The same thing applies to Zeta Chain Assimilated 201. So this one contains a quiz as well. I have done it and I'm also going to have the answers to Assimilated 201 quiz in my Telegram channel. You can join if you need the answers to the quizzes. Although I am yet to claim the NFT for this one, so I'll be claiming the NFT right now. So I'll tap on confirm to complete the claiming of the NFT and the transaction has been submitted. So I'll go back to the last campaign which has not yet been started actually. And that is the mission Bring Zeta Home. So it has not yet been started although I have completed everything I just need to claim the NFT for this one but then it is going to start by April 15 next year and then end by November 1 next year but I don't see why they will be posting campaign that will not start until maybe 6 months later I have no idea why they will be posting it from now so I won't rely on the data I am seeing on the task at the moment I'm going to keep an eye on this and you should also do the same complete the task as soon as you can. So this is the end of today's video. If you have any questions, drop me a comment in the comment section of this video or join me on Telegram and ask me your questions. If you have found value in any of my content, then let me know by giving me a like on this video and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any other important updates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.